Well, we're almost down. Look at that great backdrop. This is new to me. <laughs> I love it. Isn't it beautiful? That is so cool. It's like we're up in space. Holy cow, how nice. Isn't that really nice? <laughs> Georgia Nichols here yeah. to do some stargazing. Yeah. Stargazing right behind us. Wow, <laughs> I love <fancy>. it. <laughs> here with her predictions for the month of October, October starting next week. So we've got one more week left in yeah. September, Georgia. Yeah, right. What's going on? Actually, by the way, month to month in astrology, it's sort of roughly from now. That's oh, why right. I schedule yeah, it for right, this. Right. Because so in other words, Libra is virtually beginning now, even though October 1 is the beginning of the month. Right, of course. You no, know, it is wonderful to be back here. And you know yeah. that my mom always says, is that, when I say I'm going to be on, she says, is that the station Sophie Louise on? Oh, <laughs> hi, gorgeous mom. From <laughs> Victoria, probably. Why? She lived in Victoria for right. years. Right, right. I yeah. think that's her reference. Good place. Okay, the thing I wanted to say was that this week mm -hmm. is sort of the biggest week of the month for me. I'm, oh, I'm looking okay. at This week, there's lots of little funny, choppy stuff. Today, for example, and tomorrow are accident-prone days. Uh -oh. And when it's accident-prone, it just means lots of unpredictable things can happen. It can okay. be good, too. Could Doesn't or bad. mean you'll hurt yourself or anything. Could. In other words, today, the sun is opposite Uranus. Tomorrow, Mercury's opposite Uranus. Well, Mercury does rule ground transportation. But it just means there's we could have surprises. We could meet people we least expect. Our mm -hmm. plans will change but among all those unpredictable things obviously accidents are part of it okay so people should be sort of careful and slow down and even think before they speak okay which I rarely <laughs> do okay <laughs> And the other thing is on Tuesday is a new moon. So Monday and Tuesday is a new moon. Anytime there's a new moon, and I think I'm going to mention it for each sign, it's a chance for us to make uh, new resolutions okay. and um, do things and, and, and improve our lives. Okay. okay. Aries. 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 Okay. Yeah. Well, right now, everything is opposite Aries. We have Mercury, Venus, Saturn, and the sun, and even the new moon is opposite Aries. So basically, Aries are focused on partnerships, new relationships, old relationships and really I think what they have to do is think of how can they improve their their partnerships and their closest friendships. Okay. Taurus. Tauruses are busting their buns to try to get better organized. They can either improve their health mm -hmm. or they can improve their job or they can just even like try to find their the floor of their bedroom closet you know like they've just got to uh, they want to pull their act together and they have this impulse to do it so they should act on it. The new right. moon is helping them everything right. and uh, don't fight the feeling. Yeah don't fight the feeling <laughs> go with it and they'll, they'll love and by the way Tauruses are collectors so they got a lot of stuff. Oh so is it time to get rid of some stuff then? Either that or organize it. Okay. I don't think they throw out many of their collections. <laughs> Yeah, but they need to organize it, yeah. Gemini. Mm -hmm. Gemini, now this is a fun time for Geminis. It's all about fun and vacations and romance and love affairs mm -hmm. and sports and uh, playful times with children and financial speculation. However, parents, Gemini parents, should be aware that this is an accident-prone time for their children. Oh, okay. So be extra oh. vigilant. So their kids don't necessarily need to be Gemini, but if you're a Gemini... Exactly, and it's you a Gemini kids. parent. Because oh, there's a part in the chart, like here, I'm just yeah. reading this chart yeah. wheel, right? And so it's their children. Oh, or even children in their care if they're Gemini teachers. Oh, okay. Keep which a lot of Geminis are. Mm -hmm. But it also can mean surprise new romance. Sounds like a good month That's for Geminis. That's nice. It's interesting. Cancers, everything kind of funny and crazy and unpredictable and good as well is taking place at home. And that's interesting because cancers really value their home. They're nesters. Mm -hmm. they, they like to feel good about their home. Uh, they like to feel secure. So I see that they're decorating. A lot of them are buying new things to decorate where they live and also uh, a surprise company might be dropping by. So stock the fridge. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I might be popping by. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Leos. Now, now you're a Leo, okay? And you're a Leo. I'm a Leo, right? Now this is actually a good time for us. And I'm going to tell you why. Okay. Mars. Once every two years, Mars moves into your sign. Okay. Sometimes it stays longer than others, but it's long enough right now for certainly the next six weeks. So we are going to be energized. Uh, we're feeling more confident and definitely quicker to defend our rights. Interesting. Yeah, yes. It's also a sexual. Mars rules your blood and your muscles, but it's also quite sexual. So we're going to be very hot. This is a good time. Yes, right. I was thinking it actually. I'm feeling like a, a little more yes. spring in my stuff. Yes, and mm. it's just starting. So I mean, it'll even increase. And for us, we're busy, busy, busy. Leos are busy. They're talking to everybody. They're taking short trips, and they're very concerned with reading and writing, and and also seeing siblings. Okay. Mm-hmm. Do you have siblings over here? Who are sorry? Which side? Siblings. Do you have siblings oh, yourself yeah, yeah. In, yeah. in this city? I actually okay. have four. I know. Ooh, busy, busy. Mm -hmm. A lot of presents all the time, eh? Um, <laughs> no, we kind of cut that out a long time ago. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Virgos. Now, Virgos are very concerned with fun, uh, money and finances. Uh, they may have a few surprises with finances. I think that they, because of this new moon this week in particular, is a good time to think, 
about their values. What really matters? Do I need to earn more money? Well, we all think we need to earn mm -hmm. money, but they're, they're wondering about that. Maybe they need to get a different job. Oh, um, no. No, no, no oh, Virgos he, getting different jobs than oh, I see. <laughs> right. <laughs> and he is uh, our producer who's a Virgo. Yes, right. <laughs> However, um, they can see ways to spend money that's more efficient, this sort of thing. But they're full of money-making ideas. But it, at a deeper level, their value system, I think. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Scorpio. Scorpio, well, a couple of things are going on here. Number one, all this activity I'm talking about for Scorpio is hidden. It's sort of under the table. So they're kind of thinking a lot because why they're getting ready next month for it all to come up for their birthday, right? right? So this is a good time for them to consolidate and think about what they want their new year to be all about. Mm -hmm. um, and nevertheless, some of them are having secret love affairs, Ooh. which they are inclined to do anyway. Juicy. They're a very secretive sign and they're a sexy sign. They, right. I've, I've known some Scorpios in my life. Oh yeah, I bet you have. <laughs> uh, just before we move on, I think we I think we missed Libra. Did we miss Libra? Let's go back we to Libra. We did. You're good, and you don't even have any notes about well, this. I'm I so impressed. Okay. There's a little voice in my ear telling me. <laughs> That's because so much is going on with Libra. I just skipped right by them. Okay. Oh my God. Okay. Well, it's all happening for Libra right now. We have Sun in Libra, Mercury in Libra, Venus in Libra, Saturn in Libra, and the new Moon in Libra. Okay. So Libra is one. Party in Libra. They should take a look in the mirror and they should think how they can improve their appearance how they can improve how they relate to others and especially to partners. So it's all about like, hey, it's a reality check, mm -hmm. right? So this is their power time because all these planets are in their sign and so they're being energized. Venus there tells me it's a good time for them to shop for wardrobe items. Okay. And it's a very social sign. Libra is maybe the most social sign. Well, everybody's in Libra right now. They so. love to, sh yeah, they love to schmooze. So Scorpio, I hope Scorpios didn't miss that I jumped ahead right. there. Okay, now we're on to Sagittarius. Right. Thank you for, her. oh, I'd hate to miss <laughs> okay. Libra, yeah. S Sagittarians are having a very popular time. They're joining clubs, groups, organizations, this sort of thing. Mm -hmm. And they are talking to friends. And some of them are making younger friends, I see that, and artistic friends. They're out there schmoozing, and they're really dealing a lot, I think, with creative people. More than usual. More than usual. And they're making travel plans. And some of them are traveling right now because okay. of Mars. Yeah. All right. Capricorn, remember I said, and I That's do believe her. I, I also think it's you. I think you're oh, Capricorn yeah. rising. Right. Uh, this is the powerful time for Capricorns. Okay. It's, it's, it's going on for the next several years. Excellent. So, and this month in particular really focuses it. But be careful, Capricorns, because you might be uh, tempted to have a fight with your boss or a parent or an authority figure because I see, you can see there's a 90 degree. There's some clashes potentially here. It's not worth it. It's not worth it. Ian, I'm going to cancel that meeting we'd scheduled for next week. <laughs> okay. And, uh, but some Capricorns are going to have a, a romance with a boss or somebody older or richer. Capricorns, incidentally, are more inclined than any other sign to date somebody of an age difference. Oh, they okay. often go out with somebody who could be their parents' age or their daughter or son's age, either one. Yeah. Okay. Aquarius. We're just about out of time. So is okay. Aquarius the last Aquarius, one? Aquarius, Aquarius. No, we have two more. Okay. So Aquarius, they have to, uh, they're focused on shared possessions, shared uh, wealth, uh, inheritances, uh, everything they share with others, and uh, they have to be patient with partners because Mars is opposite their sign, and they're easily annoyed with people. And Pisces, sorry to be rushing, dear Pisces. Um, Pisces also uh, it has a lot of energy to work hard, so they should just buckle down. They want to get organized. And what did you say earlier? Go with the earth or don't deny it. Don't fight the feeling. Yeah, don't fight the feeling because uh, they're, they're very schmoozy, they're very um, interested in people, and their love life can pick up right now, too. Good stuff. Ah. Thank you very much, my dear. <laughs> uh, now, Georgia will be downtown Vancouver this afternoon for the yeah. Word on the Street. You can meet Georgia in person 1 o'clock this afternoon at Library Square in Vancouver. And don't forget her yeah. book as yeah. well. I'll be signing books. All right, Georgia. Thank, thank you. you very thank you very much. much.